you know, listening to that, that gospel, you know, you kind of put in your mind that scene, you know, of this young Jew, Jewish girl, Mary, probably about 16 years old, going to visit her cousin who also was going to have a child. And notice that uh, Elizabeth was overwhelmed with all that, you know, and she's saying, golly, I can't believe how wonderful it is you're here. You came to see me, you know. And, uh, you know, she said, blessed are you among women and blessed, you know, golly, you are so special. You are so wonderful. Reminds me of when I was in high school, my junior year playing football. Now you got to remember, I only weighed about 141 pounds. I wasn't very good. And so the coach put me as a wide receiver so I would be out of the way, not mess up anything, and I wouldn't get hurt, hopefully. Well, we're playing, uh, I think, the first or second game of the season, I guess. And uh, they threw up, they called a play for me, and they threw a pass to me, and I caught the ball and ran for all I was worth and got in the end zone. Oh my God, I'm good. What about me? Well, look at me. What about me, you know? God, I was all pumped up. I was hitting my chest, you know? Well, when I came off, Mr. Durbin was our coach, and he said, Jimmy, come here, bud. I said, what'd you think of that? Wasn't I great? What'd you think of that, coach? He said, well, a couple of things. He said, first of all, your defender fell down. He slipped and fell. You were wide open. We had the ball on the seven yard line. <laughs> and he said, you know, there were 10 other guys out there that made all that happen. The lineman blocked for you, the quarterback threw a pass that, you know, a third grader could have caught it. And you're all pumped up thinking this is the greatest thing you've ever accomplished, you know? Look at me, how great I am. My guys, I caught it, I made a touchdown. Cheer for me, dang on it. He said, you know what? You know what? And I said, what, coach? And I'm thinking, man, I don't know what he's going to say to me. He said, that was a good catch. And thanks for running the seven yards into the end zone, not running the wrong way. But you got to understand, you know, a lot of other people had a lot of talents and abilities out there that helped you to do that. Well, I've thought about that a lot, guys. And you know, I think that's probably a lot of what was happening in that house, you know, when Mary went to visit Elizabeth. Elizabeth was saying, God, you are so wonderful. You know, blessed are you among all women, you know. You're a special woman. Look what's happening to you, you know. You're going to have a baby. And obviously, the baby's going to be very special. But notice how Mary reacted to that. She said, first of all, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He has cast down the mighty from the thrones. He has lifted up the lowly. He has given food to the hungry and he sends the rich away empty. He has come to help all of us. Elizabeth probably thought, yeah, that's right. Well, you know, guys, I think that's a beautiful lesson for us to think about as we begin our school year, you know. Think about all the wonderful, beautiful blessings that God has given to each and every one of us. It's humbling in a lot of ways, you know, just to think how much God truly does love each and every one of you in a very special way. And God has blessed you in so many, many ways. Your ability and talents in the classroom, on the athletic field, in the gymnasium, the personality that you have, the family you have, the love of so many people, 
the education you're receiving here at Ron Colley High School and that you have received prior to coming here in whatever grade school you may have attended. All the sacrifice that so many people have made to make sure that you have the best education possible, to make sure that you're taken care of with food and clothing, the blessing of your good health, that you're able to get up every morning and walk and see. So much we take for granted, don't we guys, you know? We all do, golly. We take so daggone much for granted. But I think our feast today ought to help us to understand, you know, that the person who loves us the most is Christ. No matter what we do, Christ is always in our lives. He's always there to help us, to guide us, to love us. It's humbling, isn't it? When you think about who am I compared to all the people in the whole wide world, golly. But it makes no difference. Christ loves you very, very much. And he proves that to you today, as Mr. Weisenbach said so well, by giving you himself in this Eucharist. And I think our Blessed Mother gives us that beautiful example today of always remembering that. Remembering the gifts and talents, everything you have in life are blessings from God. And we thank God for that. All of us thank God for all of you in this family room today. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful school year.